has always been different. Like what else have you noticed? Every single trauma I've ever had in my life, I've always put it away and stored it and I never dealt with it. Like I would, I, I've only cried a few times in my life. I've cried before and, and sometimes it hits me, but like I used to cry a lot when I was a kid, but like every time I have trauma, I put it in my back of my brain. I'm very desensitized. My brain is very desensitized. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I almost, it's just like, how do I put this? My brain works really weird. Like I don't feel feelings sometimes because I'm, I'm not soulless. I have a soul and whenever I like disconnect myself, I feel things and I, and I, and I can feel love and I can feel passion. And I can feel stuff. But sometimes whenever you disconnect yourself, you you feel things disconnect from the internet mainly like go, go, go basically I, like go somewhere. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. Um, get away from all of this. Get away from everything. Take a little break, go travel somewhere without having to work. Take time off of streaming. It really helps me find myself again, connect myself okay. to reality. Um, but, um, where, where was I? Sorry. Oh, the desensitization of my brain. That's my biggest issue I have today. It's like, it's super hard for me to sometimes feel things and, 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 and just kind of like, um, I don't know. It's almost like I'm emotionless and like, I feel like I beat the game. What, what do you mean by beat the game? Like what's the game? <laughs> when I was, when I was coming in to like, you know, entering the streaming game, I had goals in the back of my head and the goals in the back of my head were set your parents up for life, put some money in your bank account, meet some of your heroes and idols and you did it. And the excitement and hunger I had when conquering this, like the grind part, the grind aspect was honestly, I couldn't realize it, but when I was grinding, that was the, that was like the, the peak feeling of me when I was accomplishing all this stuff. I've talked to a lot of the people that I've looked up to throughout my life and I've met them and I've had conversations with them and I got this and I got that and I did that and I did this and I just feel like I've kind of already conquered a lot of the things like at, at a really young age. Sure. And what does it feel like to conquer things at a young age? Like I beat the game. Sure. And I'm hearing that you really almost enjoy grinding. I, of course, when I was in the grind and I had a hunger and I was boom, bam, boom, getting all my, my goals and results and stuff. It's like that shit was everything to me. Like that was like, that was, you could see the hunger. The hunger right now that I had when I, I'm sorry, I'll never have that hunger again. It's true. I don't, I, well, I don't believe That's I scary. will. Well, I, don't, I think, I don't believe I will. I, I wish, I wish, I, I wish I would, but I just, I don't think that hunger exists anymore. Like I'm, I'm hungry in other ways. Like now, sometimes when I, when I, when I, when I want, when I want to make like amazing content, like I want to, I want to do new things. I just think about my community and what got me here today. Like my community has been here through the shitty moments, the good moments, the good content, the bad content. It's like now all I care about is just doing shit for them, my core. I don't care about anything else but my core. I want to make good content for my core because my core has been here through everything for me. So, so it sounds like you had some goals that were, and you know, let me know if this word rubs you the wrong way, a little bit more selfish before. Definitely. No, 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 no. My, my main set goal was to just get rich, take care of my family and have some money to put aside for me. And that was it. I would, yeah, say, so. I, I would say my goal was never selfish. Like once, once I, I my, my first, my first purchase was a Lamborghini at 19, I think. But like, you're right. I guess you are right. My first, my first goal, what, yeah, I would say it was selfish. In the beginning. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I, I was thinking about a better word, uh, you know, because I, I think it's like, okay to have selfish goals. Like, you know, like it's okay to want stuff from life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, 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 did, I didn't mean it to be derogatory. And that's why I was like, I, no, couldn't, I just couldn't find a better word. I think, um, I think, sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, yeah, go for it. I think when you're in grind mode, like anyone that's grinding towards something, like, I don't really know too much about you, but like when you're grinding for like, let's just say what you, what, you went to Harvard, right? Sure. When you were grinding to get to Harvard, when I was grinding to become a streamer, you kind of have to be selfish because like, let's just say like, like in a way, in, in a way, like you're grinding to like, to you have, in a selfish way, like where you have to just do you basically before you can really aid and take care of others you know what i'm saying like you kind of have yeah, to, I, 
I, th I think that's a very, very reasonable way to look at things. Um, interestingly enough, I would to get into Harvard and I was nowhere near. And then there was a time in my life where I gave that up and wasn't interested in being the best or accomplishing anything really. Um, and paradoxically, that's what ended up getting me there. But, you know, I, I think that what you're saying makes perfect sense. Um, and, and so I'm kind of curious, like when you were grinding and accomplishing stuff, when you got, it sounds like you got a Lamborghini at the age of 19, which is like, that's rare, man. What? It's like, below. you go know what I'm saying? Like, it's like super desensitizing. What's, what's desensitizing about it? I think in general, at 19, having a load of money and not knowing what to do with it, never being taught what to do with money, never being taught how to use it, how to utilize it. And I'm 19, I buy a Lamborghini. It's like, it doesn't make sense. I don't even have a house yet. I don't even have, my parents aren't even good yet. I just think it's super desensitizing making money to buy a, a Lamborghini at 19. I just think having a lot of money with not knowing what to do with it at 19 is crazy. You know what I mean? So I, I think there's something really, that sounds like an important discovery, but I don't understand it. So how does buying a Lamborghini at 19, how does that connect to desensitizing? Can you help me understand that? Um, I think you're on to something. I just don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think what I'm trying to say is like, maybe it's the wrong word I'm using. Like, I don't, I don't think so, man. Well, what? it's desensitizing buying a Lamborghini at 19 in general, because it's like, you're not, I don't know. I just feel like, not every 19 year old is doing that. You go know what I'm sure. saying? So when you come into that, like that, that little, like, I don't know, like when you come in and you go buy a Lamborghini at 19 without having houses and all these things and stuff, it's like, I never knew how to manage money. Like I never knew how to like do that. And if I, and right now, if I go back at 19, I had the funds I had, I would tell myself, don't buy a Lamborghini right now. And then what would you have done if you told yourself? If Aiden Ross from the future showed up to 19 year old Aiden Ross and was like, bruh, don't buy Lambo. What, what, what would 19 year old Aiden Ross have done? I think what, I think I would have literally said, give it to your parents because they know, what to, they know what to do. You the, know what I mean? I, that's I, what the older you would have said. What would the younger you have done? Oh, you're saying younger than, younger than now? No, no. no. So like if you were 19, right, let's say you could travel back in time. Okay. And you could talk to your 19 year old self and 22 year old Aiden was like, don't buy a Lambo, give it to your parents. What would 19 year old you have done? When you say desensitized, maybe I can offer something and let me know. So I, I'm getting the sense that you, when you're grinding, you feel really good, right? Cause you're putting in effort and then you're seeing those numbers or whatever those metrics are. And mm -hmm. then after you get it, there's like, you feel nothing. Not nothing. So I'll explain it. When you're gaining, when you're grinding towards something, you get a high. After I would do a viral stream or a viral moment, I would get high off of it. It would give me, it would give me some type of like release of chemicals in my brain to make me like, okay, keep going. This is amazing. I love, I love the attention, the, 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 what I'm gaining from this. I love the money. I love the, the dopamine release. I love it. I want more of it. I want to keep what's next. How do I go viral again? How do I do it again? How do I go again? How do I gain more followers? How do I get more? How do I gain out of this? The clout, it's an addiction, it's, it's, it's addicting, it's a drug. Because when you're gaining, when you keep gaining and gaining and gaining, you, it's, it, it's, it's a high, you know? So I wouldn't say I feel nothing now, I just don't care anymore. Like I don't care as much as I did before. Like if I was stuck on a very, very small core community that just loves me and cares for me and, and will watch me do anything, and, it, and I, I don't really care about the crazy numbers anymore. I don't really care about doing crazy viral stuff anymore. Like, I just don't like, I, I care to go, I care to make good content, but like the crazy, crazy viral moments and stuff that I was doing back in the day, I don't want to put my, I don't need to put myself in that position anymore. What's changed? I would say growing up a little more, um, going through a lot, doing a lot. I would say, um, having more money now. Um, I would just say, honestly, yeah, I would just say more experience in this shit as well. And in what ways have you grown up, Aiden? Experience. I think um, I'm not 100% mature yet. I'm not, I still have a lot to learn. I'm still super young and I make dumb decisions all the time. 
Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I think I think I still got a lot more growing up to do, but I think I'm in a better place uh, now than I was when I was back at 21, 20, you know? How were you different one or two years ago? What was the place you were in? Less money, uh, different, different living situation. Um, you know, I would say less, I, like, like just less experience in general in my, in my career as well. Um, so dif- and, different type of people around me got, you know, I don't really speak with anymore. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. So no, no, it's, it's totally cool, dude. I, um, I was just kind of, so I'm a little bit confused because like on the one hand, I'm sort of hearing that back in the day when your head was in the game, you felt good. You're grinding, you're getting that dopamine rush. You use the word addiction, which is, I mean, that's, that's a powerful word, man. And at the same time, it sounds like you felt really good. Definitely. And, and I'm sort of almost hearing you kind of say that you're in a better place now, but you like don't feel as good in some way. Like, does that you kind of make sense? I'm sort, sort of hearing I don't, threat. I don't feel more, I don't feel fulfillment and high anymore after having a viral moment. Does that make sense? Like if I see a viral, if I see a viral moment or viral clip now, I'll just laugh about it and scroll right past it. I don't care anymore as I would care back in 2021. I would be super, super like, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta do more of this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I, I just don't really care for it anymore. Which one do you prefer, the way you are now or the way you used to be? Now, nah, all about pleasing a core that cares about me, than a trendy audience that doesn't really care two shits about, give two shits about me for sure. Okay. And is being fulfilled and, and being high the same thing? What do you mean? So you said like, you don't get the f- sense of fulfillment. You don't feel as high anymore. I, I don't mean like drugs. I mean like what you're talking about. I feel, like, I feel at peace. I feel I'm cool with what I have. I, I feel comfortable. I feel good. You feel at peace now? At peace because back, in, back when I was in that 2021 mode, I was nervous and, ho- and horribly going like mentally destroyed. Because I would always have to think about what I got to do the next day to go viral. Otherwise, I'm going to fall off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, was, I was on a mission still trying to grind and trying to figure things out and, and try to just going down this little upscale of a blow up, you know? So I'm, I'm kind of hearing that, like, it's quite a roller coaster, dude. So, oh, like, yeah. on the one hand, there's, like, the thrills and it's like, hell yeah, you feel that energy. What's next, baby? But at the same time, maybe there's, like, anxiety. Like, maybe I can't do it. Like... Yeah. You know, doubt. Literally, yes. Self doubt, self um just a lot of a lot of like like overthinking, man. Just like straight up just you know. What kind of what do you mean by overthinking? I what just thought if I didn't if I didn't top this stream, I was gonna fall off and everyone would leave me. And I just thought like if I didn't do this right or or you know, if I didn't, you know, figure out a way to do this stream better and figured out then my whole community was going to leave me. I, I really did. I thought, I thought everyone would leave. And what, what, so you mentioned that like your, who you hang out with or something has changed. What, what's happened to well, your community, a, your connections? I had a different living arrangement, you know, back on my name in 2021, I was first blowing up. A lot of people would hit me up. I had a lot of fake people um, in my life at that time. I had a lot of people who were, were just straight up, um, just not, I had a lot of people in my life that weren't there. Like my living arrangement was there. I was in a whole content house. Okay. I was in a house full of people, um, who do content creation as well on the internet. And, um, it was just, it was a different environment. I was living in work, if that makes sense. Like I was living. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I would wake up to a messy ass room to a stream I did the day before. And I would, you know what I'm saying? Like I would wake up to that. Like if I like was in my streaming room the other day and I, and I completely broke like um, this one stream I did, I, I broke like this con- concrete stuff with a hammer. Um, and and it, I, I slept in that. Like I was sleeping in work. So my living arrangement in general was just completely different. Like it was just, I was living in work. I felt too much work, 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 you know? And and how are you living now? Happier for sure. I, I, now, um, I now don't live in work. If I want to take a day off and lay in bed, and watch TV and, and just take one thing at a time and not live and work and go outside. And it's, 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 it's a lot better. I do. What's it like? Yeah. I do. I do. I do sometimes get lonely though. I'm not gonna lie, but 
Uh, what you writing down there, doctor? I mean, I've written a ton of shit. Why are you so focused on what I'm writing now? I'm just kidding. I'm just, I know. I, I know you've been writing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're kidding. <laughs> well, no, no I'm, I'm saying like, I know you've been writing this whole time. Like, I, I, I don't really care what you've been writing. I mean, I know you're just taking notes. Is there something about, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. um, and I know I've been asking you, it's kind of silly. So what I'm signaling to you is I, I think, what, what was it like to say you get lonely sometimes? I've always lived with work. So I've always had people around. And now that I live alone, it's different because now I live alone. I don't live with family. I don't live with parents. I used to have a girlfriend, like a girlfriend, excuse me. I used to live with her. I don't live with her. Obviously we broke up. I don't, I live alone. Right. So it's like, for me, it's like, it's different. You know, I'm, I get lonely sometimes. It sounds lonely. Yeah, it is. But I have friends and I have, you know, my parents close by and stuff. So it is what it is. Can I think for a second? Think. Is he diagnosing me, chat? What's he doing? I'm gonna need a second, okay? <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> 